All right, Sanbonani, welcome to another edition of Extra Time Unlocked, the Corner Lawi Gaga CFM. As I'm Jalo, and I'm Shane Jaga. We are going to be looking at the Rugby World Cup. I'm Jalo Kubegaya, when Jenga Manje. See, as we take a World Cup, it's Alile on this past weekend, and we are basically in full motion now, looking at Tamake Mazayoge. I and the news were alongside Sam Kelo, the sports cheater. Bafo. Sure, kids, come back. I know, it's sharp, it's sharp. Yes, it's that that time of the year. <laughs> so we saw first round of action for the Rugby World Cup. A happy start for us as the Springboks South Africa winning. But I want to start here. Like, the favourites and the other teams. But who has impressed you the most? Before just here, Glaba Fana Baggits and the Springboks. I'd say Fiji mm. is the team that has impressed me the most. But they lost though. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they, it, was a, it was a tough one against the Wales. Sure. Yeah. Um, they didn't score I think we would have seen Fiji um, with uh, causing a major upset. I think those boys, I'm sure they would say they're ready to play. Um, coming up against uh, a highly experienced coach in Warren Cutland, eh, La Panagui Wales, but you saw how tight that game was, um, particularly uh, towards the end. So I think if Fiji, and we, you know, they've shown their prowess, um, we game number seven, um, you as with Taklalelo, you Fiji, and I think um, what has really improved Kakulu the most is they set piece um, um, in the 15th game, and Baya was with Tiba be competitive, man, because in the past, um, if Fiji, the set piece wasn't as, as, as clinical as it is now but i mean there's still major major work ons um to to that they need to do going forward but i think if it would cause uh, will, will show cause an upset we, yeah. we, hey, we pull up again and they talk about shubay like a man because bunny australia like we could be still and the australia won their first game mm. so man jay goes over tough name bell would see bazaam would see but we talk to it's going to be a tough one and i think umu abandu came about in the lega cooling and bella is that australia game and 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 fiji um i think it's the australia obviously um building up to the tournament uh, my preparations are but well, i think they lost like what four games i'm um, yeah. building up to the tournament so um bebeng eko right in the lab preparing ayo and you saw with um eddie jones um interketo genzo would say what's he get rid of um the guys the senior guys mm. um most of them who were a part of that um australian team um even on the 2019 rugby world cup and bringing in um abad lali who are uh, you know, about the Labanga and FA2 are not experienced, and um, we saw the likes of about Quaid Cooper dropping out of the squad, um, Michael Hooper now dropping out of the squad, mm. and um, bringing back Olondoza, Will Skelton as the, the, the captain manager. And we saw him um, leading from the front, and Makombi Sabafan would see a Galawanjani, Gui World Cup, especially um, with such high stakes, um, <laughs> Gui World Cup, because there's, there's very like small margins. I look at the summer team. So, Australia and the Fiji is a game that I'm looking forward to yeah. so Bonu to Australia is a was in Kubega with uh, obviously the winning moments um albeit um quick and may what the so far as boiling up on a sky as boiling up on a sky but for baguette obviously you're speaking about leading from the front as Bonu like I see a call is leading on the field and off the field but we're going to get to the part like a money book but just the performance of a fan first game against Scotland um, probably not the greatest first half, but second half, Bagwa Zulubuya, the experience came through and a comfortable win at the Yes, now, Coach, you would see, you know, is Scotland is ranked number five. Mm. Um, in top team. Yeah, top team. Mm. And um, Tinasik number two, uh, the Springboks. It was always going to be a tough game. And especially considering, we would see, I'm a Springboks and Fate 2, we're playing with this massive pressure behind us. You know, we are the defending champions. So Abantu, um, they're expecting us to just to come out and shoot off the block scandal. Mm. But it's not easy, especially with Laluyama World Cup and Fate Bonile. First half was, was very difficult for the Springboks. Yeah. But I think the second half Bakumbi so we see, you know, this is this is what we made of as the world champions. I mean, Kulumangi <laughs> about the comments made by Osia Kolisi after um a performance Kamani Lipok, which I think, you know, Umani Lipok if it's uh, I think he has what like ten caps or something like eleven yeah. caps. Fairly new in the team. Fairly new in the team mm. and which but in Tengi Kabangile me no good see um it should have kicked for 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 Ilotos. It's a line for it so um mm. Just to kind of take the pressure away from him instead um, of to the polls, instead of to the polls, because yeah. about and because we we, we we were dominating very up front, mm. so I think put the Scots under pressure 
um, take the pressure away from Wena as 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 the goal kicker, and then Masugu Nama Tuba are clear and obvious. Then you take you kick for the poles. Mm. But I think um, he had an outstanding performance. Umani Lipok and it's just one player. Um, I think the rest of the squad really yeah. put in a massive shift. But Simisa Anja and Lendo Galipo going forward, Samgel, especially Masubuga, Masasfiga, Lapa, Guma knockout stages. It gets very tough. The margins are very, very small. So, Sboni Lugutik late game, he did kick and he converted, I think, a few and then he missed some mm. as well. So, and then Wangenu Faf, Guabuyeno Kashilai. So, the situation again, do we continue with that formula like a trial and error? Good, okay. Because the police, the main thing in Itatil again is that Ulibok, Gera Zaben to Empu Yonkinto at a given day, for example. So he might be good in other areas, but his kicking is not great, which means Are we adopting the same mentality or the same strategy? Naguma quarterfinals, semifinals, Uguti, Suzo Miega Kachele, Umeshulegas, Fago Muni. But that might cost us as well, hey, because yeah, if he misses a couple, it. then we might not even recover from that. So, Smisa Ganjan, your situation in Jal. And I think, Mina, just like I got to what thing you should see. Mina for him if it's more about nuti ya boli kick le it's a nugu baguti just kick for for Elon to the Italian fans and then try get into the 22 we know how dominant we are um ipeke to pambil I think that's that's the one way to put pressure on our opponents here too and then when there's clear um um chances for the post then shoot for those but I think Futsi um you know we do have a, a backup plan like Usia said mm. with the likes of Faf de Claire who can also kick for the post but to good thing of Bush of Futsi Guti I'm a match in Lapamanganega cool Labo Angaza ma points among our Shwebile. Yeah. Um that could be you know that could be match defining when you're playing against the top teams in Klabin. So I think Kota Nat it's a situation it's beginning now at the moment and Angaz Uguti him because it's been a, a four year cycle Uguti um Gunze Yeganjan because Hundred Hundred Pollard is 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 our only was our only still is um recognized kicker but mm. Gegas rely again a So mm. I think a uh, slotting in abo money le bok na bo we la lili ndima but I don't know if it's 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 too late um considering Wuti World Cup is it le but he, you know he did show against the all blacks mm. um just two weeks uh, two three weeks ago man um Uguti we are wazi we are we are guazi uglala in big stages. So I think it's a matter of Uguti if it goes well for him on the day but that's a, that's an area of concern mm. sure obviously at the time of shooting now it's quite a are we playing in Romania and yes are you expecting many changes for that one uh, given it's a much easier game compared to Umjalo Scotland yeah no the one thing is in our it's in our yes the spring box is depth yeah, um, depth in our squad and you as would say World Cup of it's a it's a it's a long tournament so I think um we can expect um ama changes but uh expect more of the same he must exit rounding because mm. like for like you must bring box to keep a low far low um still the quality is the same so I think um we'll see a few changes here and there um, uh, we saw, I think Grant Williams might get a start um, mm. this time around. We saw uh, the impact he had just yeah. uh, with less than, what, five minutes he came in and we see the, the opportunities that he, he created, able to break the, uh, the, the the game down for the Springboks. So I'm expecting a couple of changes um, here and there, but um, Ukshin Chaguetu um, wouldn't won't make us any weaker, I think. Yeah. yeah. I know, Van Asbuga, my fixed track, man. Don't you see... The thing about the Rugby World Cup is that we don't get matches every day like other World Cups, whether it's football or cricket. Yeah. So the guys have to recover. But it's France up against Uruguay. Again, Galila, France, were you were you impressed about their their first outing beating the All Blacks and their, their overall performance? Yeah, I was I was very impressed with the France. Um you have to understand the Wutsi France. Um this is their best opportunity to win a rugby world cup. Mm. Um um they've played in three finals and Bajuagona won't get my finals and it's the only top team um in Klabini, um which hasn't won a world cup. And I think um playing um Ekaya, uh, you just you, you see that the boys are just brimming with confidence. Hemulda Lagui crowd in Sapotza and in and they're able to execute. Um they're playing against the all blacks in in, in the opening match and you know high stakes um mm. and they were able to deliver under pressure. So if France if France in fact so I see them um are winning also against the Uruguay. Against Uruguay. Yeah. And obviously in Oleshanu, I'm a all blacks are and obviously they're playing against Omakilonebe to Namibia. 
sibone lutsi bashabe kanjalo nabo we we came here against Italy so are you expecting another onslaught from the All Blacks especially given ukuthi badliwe ku game yokuqala ah most definitely most yeah. definitely those boys will be you know I'm sure they got the being a was the glare like this in so because you know how passionate um New Zealand are with their rugby. Uh, Kumbu look it's back coming from another humbling loss to the Springboks. Bangen and Jagule World Cup of Vale, but to Um, so I'm um, losing against France. I think Kuzoba Kukuzel and Fit to put on a massive um display la pana ni nami ni nami pia and i think with nami pia na mfe tu if nugu zenzela you know nami pia has been competing in greek world cup um so onkele siskati but still abagazi by ba winne a world cup game so they, they'll be searching for that and what a massive upset it would be mm. should they do it against the all blacks i highly doubt it um but they have an experienced coach in um ulunduza um a former Springbok coach um Okona Jenga Manje Gwina Mepia mm. Alistair Kutsia yeah. um but hey to be honest if it's Angbabu and be win but <laughs> should they win Angaba Naba would be well, definitely one of the highlights for this entire World Cup mm. Amanya my favorites a World Cup Ireland they put 80 mm. against in, what, in, Romania in, against Romania in their first game uh, so more of the same more of the same because especially Tonga, I think it's a big one that I will on this World Cup. They mm. haven't played. Mm. So I, I learned it's now, but it's another side that's breathing with confidence. So now we have a born and you're just uh, walking away with that one. I can guess on to the Akalam fan. The Akalaga cool. The Akalaga is on though. We got, <laughs> we got the Springboks um, up against Romania. We got Australia against Fiji. Like we got to Kulu Mangai, Silindel and obviously England against Japan. So those are three high quality matches. Yeah, I think Ogwe to Amas Springboks and Romania, I think uh, that's easy. That's easy. A bonus point um, win for the Springboks. Lapo, um, I'd be surprised if we get anything less. And um, Fiji and Australia. Um, Australia is the game that I think about. Yeah. You know, that game, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think the, the, the boys from Dan under by Kombisile um, mm. this past weekend, especially after coming with under so much pressure, um, building up to the tournament. And the feet, you know, but the Skulumana, the set piece has improved. We mm. saw what they did against Wales. Um, um, it was a really close game. So, Lapo, I am leaning. I just I go for Fiji for an upset because I always <laughs> favor the underdogs. Because they have to win. That's yeah, that's the bottom line. They have to win. Yeah, they have to win. So I, mm. so I, so I take I, I say Fiji Lapo would make for an, an interesting contest. Another game between Amatimo two Awinile in their first encounters, England and Japan. England and Japan. Uh, in Japan, I think they had a even though they won the first match against Chile. Mm. In a corner, it wasn't as you know. I think they they might have underestimated underestimated if if you had watched that game closely. Mm. And I think he for me I see um uh, from from like 2019 mm. um um but um I think we 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 might see an upset on that one also. I don't see um Japan walking away with that one. All right, Saige, Sashilum Voga Tambusha. Those are all the games we can look forward to. Egyo Nageli weekend. A special mention as well to Wales and Portugal. Uh, we're also going to have Samoa and Chile. That's going to be on Saturday. But Amake Maxasage on Thursday. Yeah. That's going to be France, Uruguay, and on Golestanum, uh, Sobogama All Blacks, and Namibia. And just this one, do you think um getting is I'm all blacks if it's a Kulumangu Guti? Um Bafunda with South Africa from obviously 2019, yeah. um, being the, the the first country to lose a group stage match and then win the tournament. We're going on. To, what do you see um, when I with this All Black um, team? Do you think Bazo Guazo Buya to Kugunzagalan? Because Ang Sabon Gashi. I mean, there's always yeah. been questions vele regarding that. Um, even since last year with mm. Ian Forster and his charges. No, but some All Blacks, I think they're very they're very soft under the belly. Koni de shota yonga, but koni de off. And it's not even a thing. Or Guti, they're not. They they they're a terrible team. They're not a terrible team. They have a very good squad. I think they might be badly coached, and I think there might be a psychological thing. A shot ayok born because the Mubui game is about shying ayok mas spring box and their second half performance against the France. Mm. Those are two uncharacteristic all black performances. Because the Siaz Guti, they are a dominant side. They always show their dominance. Kwa benga jala ngashinge first half. 
they make sure Uguti gets like enough bagwas Uguti baboy. I don't see them improving. Mm. Um, obviously, with 2019, I'm a, I'm a Springboks sa asikala nga lahi tournament but remember we played against the All Blacks mm. in that first game so it could have gone either way we lost that match didn't mean Nuguti were a bad side but given Nuguti in the warm up game and the Labasha in the France I do think there might be some psychological damage and that might slightly I know it's very hard to rule out some All Blacks so hey you guys are winning World Cup because they're in New Zealand but I think Koni Te Shota Yogbona that France has, that Ireland has, and that we have. So I think those three teams, uh, we can potentially meet them in the quarterfinals. I think either in the quarterfinals or the semifinals, they're definitely going to be losing one of those games. Do you think um, losing the captain, oh, Sam Kane, just before um, the first game had like a psychological impact on them? Yeah, because it's it's all those things. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, it, it really builds up and it really does affect the morale of the team. Like I said, losing to the Springboks and mm. losing their opening game without their captain, Usam Kane, how are they going to recover? Do they have the ability with Babui? And those are all the questions that they have to answer, starting with the game and obviously going forward. But I don't think, I don't think they're going to and improve because remember tournament football sometimes it's all about tournament rugby it's all about picking at the right time so mm. it's not really about how you start which is why I'm not worried too much about the spring box but it's about picking at the right time especially like my knockout stages make all your mistakes now yeah. but then when you get there like Pezul, that's when you perform and just uh, finally for me regarding mm. Elon Tuza in New Zealand, I think Bona, they picked um, at the wrong time. Obviously winning the rugby championship mm. with Nanani and um, we know how New Zealand pundits are. Yeah, uh, got they got two. cocky. <laughs> got so there's like five wins in a row <laughs> got before they played us. <laughs> and even coach. Yeah. Got two World Cup hits. So we'll see you got two wins in New Zealand. I know, definitely. So we're not ruling out the All Blacks, but I personally, for me, I'm born in the get my all blacks but obviously you can also tell us what you think about the all blacks are they going to come back will the Springboks, france and ireland and joba are those three teams the only favorites do you put the all blacks in there personally i don't let us know what you think and uh, until next time we're going to catch another episode of extra time unlocked next week Danko. <laughs>